debated a lot on what to title this video. Uh, initially I thought, uh, how a vacuum pump works. But then I realized that would be kind of misleading considering this one doesn't. I've had this vacuum pump for uh, a little over a year, maybe two years, something like that. It's a Cozy Vacuum TA350. It was a pretty cheap little vacuum pump, and on this end, we have an access port to reach into the electric motor. And if I can get the screwdriver to slot in, that's all the turning it'll do. Back and forth, maybe a sixteenth of a turn, not even an eighth or a quarter turn, and it is locked up solid in either direction past that, which if you plug it in and switch it on, it just goes to that point, trips the overload, and then uh, shuts off until you toggle it back on and off, and then it repeats and does the same thing. So I'm assuming something is locked up inside of the pump itself. So maybe the title for this video should be How a Vacuum Pump Doesn't Work. No, no, because I'm hoping to fix it. Well, regardless, we're going to tear this thing apart. So it's got these four Allen screws here on the end, or hex cap screws, I guess, is perhaps a better term. They're all four millimeter on this because it is metric. I drained the oil out already, so hopefully we don't make an enormous mess. These little pads are awesome because they only absorb oil. They won't absorb water or um, things like that. So I have used these when you have like, um, especially in my line of work, you have like a jet ski where an engine has failed and there's a ton of oil in the hull, but it's mixed partially with water. As you drain the water out of the hull, you can have it running across these pads and the water just runs off, but it traps the oil and um, prevents leaching that oil out into groundwater or things like that. So it's a good idea to have some of these things around. So, doesn't really tell us a whole lot. Let's see, are these also four millimeter here? No, they are not, they're bigger. It's kind of interesting to also see the build quality of what's going on inside of here. Those were fours, so this is probably a five. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so this has plastic guy in here. I'm assuming something is meant to slide or rotate or do something here, and it is not. Bet you. Oh, uh, I think I see what's going on. There's a burr right here on this side. Let's see, what do I have to do to get this entire thing off? Okay, so that whole housing piece comes off right there. And then this, thinking, should be able to be slid back and forth because there's nothing seized there other than this little guy. So let's grab something to give that a little encouragement to come off. What happened here, there's these two pieces 
with springs in between that are meant to be spring loaded and putting pressure out but something has happened to this one and they have seized up in their little spot there. So I'm going to take these springs out clean these up, smooth them up good with a little bit of sandpaper um, it appears to be some sort of fiberglass so I'll just smooth these up so that they will slide smoothly because right here I don't know if you can see it all that great if the camera will focus close right here on this one you can see this discoloration right up here towards the end and this one doesn't really have it it just has discoloration from me hammering on it but this darker patch on this one is rough so we're going to smooth that up see if we can get this working again I took each of these and just smoothed them ever so slightly with a fairly fine but large metal file until they slide smoothly, or well, smoothly is I could get them to, in and out of that little shaft holder thingy piece. We use all the correct technical terms here on the Try This at Home channel. So let's put this in. That looks pretty good. I mean, it slides back and forth nice and smooth. That's nice. Good deal. Just putting in the old oil that I took out of it earlier. Probably will get new oil for it here eventually, but oh, this is the right amount and the right stuff, so there we go. Plug her in and see if it works. Aha. Success. So now we can go and fix the AC on our cars before summertime hits. Thanks for watching.